In this video, I'll show you my favorite method for adding downloadable PDF documents directly to WooCommerce product pages. But stay with me, because there's also a way to allow customers to upload their own PDF documents for product customization. Here's an example of the first option, where you can see that I've added a user manual to a custom tab using Barn 2's WooCommerce Product Tabs plugin. I can even get really fancy and add a list of documents in a table format using another plugin, which I'll talk about in a minute. This method is perfect for adding things like manuals, guides, and brochures to a dedicated section on your product pages. The second option flips things around, allowing customers to be the ones who upload a PDF, image, or other document. But why would you want this? If you sell personalized items like birthday cakes, for example, you can allow customers to send you images and text that they want on their cake. And we can do this with our very popular WooCommerce product options plugin. So feel free to jump ahead to part two of this video if that's what you're looking for, but otherwise we'll get started with the first option. To add PDFs or any other custom file type to product pages, we first need a way to edit the product tabs and to add new ones. For this, we'll use WooCommerce product tabs, which can be found in the WordPress plugin directory for free, or use the link in the description to get a copy of the pro version, which allows you to set up tabs for each specific product rather than being limited to entire categories. Once installed and activated, go to products, product tabs, and click the add new button. You can add as many tabs as you like for each product category in the free version or for each product in the pro version. Give the tab a name. I'll use the title manuals. Then in this box below, you can enter any text or media that you want to appear on the tab. For example, you can write a brief introduction or description of the PDF file. Then to add a downloadable file, click on the add media button above the text box. Upload a PDF file to your WordPress media library and select it once uploaded. Make sure it has a suitable file name, as this is how it will appear on the front end. You can also add any other content to the tab, such as images, videos, or short codes. And you can see here it's been added as a clickable link. Then scroll down to the visibility and click show on specific products, categories, or tags. If you have the free version, this will be a little bit more limited. So I'm going to include it on the bottle listing. And I'll also show you how to add it to a category here or a tag. All right. And then we can add an icon like this book here and click update or publish to create the new tab. And that's it. Your tab will now show up on product pages, allowing users to access those PDF files that you uploaded. Now, if we look at our listing for this product and scroll down to the bottom, you can see that the tab here for manuals shows the product user manual, which is a clickable link. You may want to add an image here to make it a little bit more obvious as well. But here we have our default tabs, and we can also use this plugin to hide these tabs if we want to and only show our custom tab. If you have a lot of PDF files or other documents to attach to your product, then you may want to use a searchable table layout within your custom tab. By using the Document Library Pro plugin, I can create a WordPress PDF library, which I can then embed anywhere on my site, including the extra product tab that I just created. It's a lot better for customers because of the search and filtering options and the download buttons, along with some other neat features. So here's how to set that up. First, you will need to download and install the Document Library Pro plugin, then run through the setup wizard, including the activation, then navigate to Documents and click on Add New. Here, you can use a similar process to earlier by adding the document title, adding the media associated with it, and any other details that you would like, including setting up a document category which we'll use later in the shortcode. Then you can click on publish once it's ready. Another way to add files all at once is to click on the import button and then click on select files and you can drop all of your files here. You can also go to your media library and select 
all of the items that you want to can turn into documents and click add to document library and then click apply. Then go to all documents. Then click on one of your new documents to edit and create a new category. We'll use this in our short code. We'll call this one drinkware as this is the same category that we'll be applying it to in our shop. Now click update, go back to your documents and choose all the other items that you also want to include in this category and click on edit, apply, add the drinkware category and click update. Now these three items are all in the same category and we can use them in the same table. Now we'll quickly go to the documents settings page, check that your license key is active, click on document tables and here is where you can set up the specific columns that you would like to include in your table. So in this case we will use the title but we don't need an image or excerpt. So I'm just going to use the title description and add a download link as my columns in the table. You can read more about what columns you can include using this link here. Then I'll save those changes. I do have the option to enable filters. However, for such a small number of documents, it's not really necessary. But for example, I could filter by categories or tags if I wanted to. Now head back to product tabs and edit the tab that we worked on earlier. Then all you have to do is copy and paste this short code, which I'll include in the description of this video, but you're going to need to change this word, what I have as drinkware, into whatever the category is that you set up for your documents. So we've got document library, document category equals drinkware in my case, but for you, it might be something different. Then click update. So let's have a look at the PDF library as it appears in our product tab. So here's what it looks like on our product page. When we scroll down to our manuals custom tab, we can see this table, which also has a search bar. We could add filters if we wanted them, and we can download all of the links using this button here and these checkboxes, or we can click to view each link here. If I wanted to, I could also write a description for each of the different PDF documents, and that would give users a better idea of what they're about to download. Earlier, I talked about using an upload field for customers to be able to create personalized products, but this tutorial is also useful for print-on-demand services, custom artwork commissions, and consultation services, such as interior designers. To add a file upload to our products, I'll be using the WooCommerce Product Options plugin. This will allow us to limit the types, file sizes, and number of uploads permitted. And we can add a custom charge or fee to this option, which you can see in this birthday cake example. So here are the steps you need to follow if you wanna add that PDF upload to your product page. Once you've installed and activated the WooCommerce Product Options plugin, then go to Products, and product options. Then you can click add group to create a new option group. I'm gonna call this one file upload, and you can choose to display that if you want. Then choose where this file upload is going to be displayed. And this is where you can choose the specific products. Now you can include, for example, the water bottle. Then click on add option to create the file upload field. Scroll down so you can see all the options here. And remember this plugin does way more than just file uploads, but for now we'll just click on one, file upload. We'll give this option a name. We'll call it upload field, which can be displayed as well. Fill out the label field, and you can add a cost if you would like to. This could either be a flat fee, quantity-based fee, or however you set it up. I'll just give an example of $5. You can also write a description to make it clearer to the customer what they need to do. And I also recommend checking this required field if this product is always going to need customization. Then click Save Changes before opening the advanced settings. 
click on edit option, scroll down and click on advanced settings. Here is where we can set the maximum file size. So for example, I could set it at 500 megabytes and the maximum number of files, I'll set that at one. Then you can go through and select or deselect certain types of files. So in this case, I only want to accept PDFs. So I'm going to get rid of all of them and just click on PDF. There's also a conditional logic option, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So now let's click Save Changes. So now let's take a look at our file upload field on our product page. And now here is our file upload option. So customers can click here and they can upload their PDF. Perfect. And then they can check out. If it was not a required field, they could check out before adding anything to this box. Also note that a link to these files will be added to the email notifications sent to you and the customer after the purchase is completed. You can do so much more with this plugin, like adding image buttons, color swatches, and custom pricing calculators. Check out those options by watching this video next, or click here to get yourself a copy of the plugin. And of course, thanks for watching.